goreng and nazi goreng for the past days so yes for pizza bed sheets here actually they didn't even give us blankets so i went yesterday to buy a hammock and i thought it was quite good investment because wherever we're gonna go now i always have my bed with me i can hang it on a tree or i can use it as a blanket like i did today travel hack for you let's start today today we're gonna move from Luwuk to Bangai and it's gonna be an awesome day we hired a guide for this so let's see what's gonna bring i'll take you with me it's very hard in these remote places to find food other than rice or noodles baked banana is also a very typical thing here so we discovered this baked banana with chocolate and it's really surprisingly good kisses Yay! Thank you. <laughs> the first fish of the trip on to many more <laughs> so we finally gotta start on our trip and this is the crew all the bundis <laughs> Okay, wait, hold on, because these people mean the world to me. So they deserve a little introduction. From left to right, upstairs, we have Joel, Josh, Emma, Colby, Nuno, Janus, and Julia. And then under, Emilia, me, and Emily. Okay, now we can continue. I'm super excited to be with all these creative minds. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. What are they doing? We are gonna go on the ferry now. We are with 10 people. It's a lot, but I'm super excited. I'd say that a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are getting a little kayak, apparently. This is cool. I just love those little things if you get a comfortable travel. It's just four hours this ferry, but I'm super happy with a little bed so I can do some edit work and we all can get comfortable and it's a nice view. And we have neighbors! Oh, hello, kissy room. <laughs> Photo! One, two, three. People go crazy. <laughs> this is actually so insane. They never saw any white people. <laughs> I honestly cannot get over this. It's so insane. They are acting like we are their biggest celebrity idol ever. They are fully in excitement. Yeah, yeah. I've never had it like this. I'm a little bit in shock about yes. how starstruck they are. It's insane. So cool. I was like, oh, it's us. I can be oh, different. Happy Nuno? Always. <laughs> yes. Good morning everyone, it's 3.30 in the morning, the sunrises are getting more early because we have to drive longer. We're going to a lot of beaches today, so I'm very excited! So we just had a two hour car ride, we're gonna go now to the boat. It's 5 in the morning now. 
will happen. So we have two boats because there's so many of us and the boats are small. This is the island of today. We arrived here on this beautiful beach. I cannot believe my eyes. I cannot believe my feet. Because the sand is extremely soft. You see, it's such a nice texture. I don't know how I can explain it. We're gonna spend the next three hours here, I think. And then we're gonna go to some other beach. Running gymnastics. Spin the hips cold. <laughs> this beach is stunning. Wow. Beautiful. So we have drone pilot one here. Wow. From pilot two. Wow. Hey, good job, good job. From pilot three. are building a sand castle now. I feel it's very good for creativity. Wait till you see my orc sand castle. Yes. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. So here we have it. We need to build in the, like more peasant houses. Cheers. So we are now with the Pajau people. It's quite interesting. It's like a town around the water. Everything is made by wood. It's very not so stable, but super cool. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hi. They have their little boat. And there is a is a channel in the middle, and they like transport everything through there. Ta da! no way of communicating with them except for tada hi i just love to connect with these local people because they live so differently everything about their life is different i don't know i cannot explain why but it teaches you so much in such a special way hi hi <laughs> This is actually so crazy. It's apparently the first time ever that they see tourists. Can you believe that? Like they never saw anything like us. Insane. Man, he wanted to touch my hair. <laughs> While spending time with the Bajo tribe, I found myself overwhelmed and speechless. Their way of life made me question the essence of happiness. I couldn't help but wonder if they, by living in self-made houses in small villages on an island, are truly happier than many of us in our busy modern lives. It's a reminder of how different life experiences can be based on where you are born. Visiting the Bajo tribe was a humbling reminder of the beauty and simplicity and the importance of appreciating every moment. Thank you, Bajo people. I had a blast. Ta -da! Ta -da! All following. They don't want to say bye. <laughs> they don't let me lose. <laughs> Okay, so we are at the beach and we are building some oh, figures and I am a mermaid! Yeah! <laughs> so we just made Emily into a head. <laughs> Chema is very strong. Okay, come on. You're peewee. We got some nice light in the end and we got some amazing stuff. Today was amazing. I can still not get over it. The village that we visited was insane. I, what we just experienced was so unique and I think it was a once in a life experience. So, so, so excited about this trip so far. I cannot understand that this place is still so unknown. It's so, so worth it to come here. There is nice restaurants, there is nice beaches. Look where I am. It's just wow. The water is clear blue and I'm talking too much. So that's it for today. See you guys tomorrow. Bye!
A new day has started with a three hour car drive, which was not fun at all. That's the sad thing about traveling sometimes. We made it now to a cave. I think it's gonna be really cool. Uh, and I think we have again a three hour ride. So I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I'm so tired of moving around all the time. But okay, let's keep the positive mind up and let's go see it! Wow! Oh. This is really, really the nice. Kobe. Ah, it dripped on my head! Of course, Kobe is in. Mm. It literally looks like the moon pool from H2O. Sardines! We're gonna swim with a ton of sardines. I wanted that shot already from the moment I started making content, so excited! How happy are we with oh, yeah. this nice lunch? Why do they eat this? <laughs> Out of all the food in the world that you can eat. Yeah. It looks amazing! Nice. Okay, so we have 30 minutes now to swim with the sardines. It didn't look as good as I thought from up, but hopefully it will go down. We just arrived at the lake and it's looking so, so pretty. It's a tropical oasis paradise. So we're coming here now, but we're also gonna come back tomorrow with sunrise. We wanted to check it out already, so we know tomorrow what we're gonna do. Because it's kind of the highlight from this trip. Whoa, this is the most beautiful lake in the world. See you tomorrow, little lake. Say hi, Nuno. Hi. Uh, Nuno again. Already in the third I'm a, I'm vlog, a, I think. I'm a regular. Just a regular. Yeah. So we arrived at our homestay for tonight. It's not a lot. I just wanted to take a shower and I found out that this is the bathroom. So I can shower with a nice bucket and I can be in a nice hole. That's it for the bathroom. But at least you're the only room with AC. I claimed that one and I'm not even hot. I don't know why I did that. So we're gonna spend our last night here. I think I will finally use my hammock to sleep in. Well, the sheets look clean though. Tomorrow, one other day, the lake again. And then we're gonna hit the ferry back home and onto the next destination. Now I'm gonna get in my hammock. Yay! So happy about it. I'm ready to sleep. Tomorrow is the last night. I'm super sad about it. Everyone is gonna leave also. Normally we would have like three more days to another island, but everyone is so tired of traveling. So I also understand that, but we are still good, no? We are perfect, like new. We were like waiting for an adventure like this. So we're gonna continue a little more. That's it for today. Good night. Gonna go to the lake in this nice truck. It's gonna be fun. All set. Yeah, yeah. The tombs are joining. Oh, no. oh my legs. Sour. Ow. Oh. Here we are again. Wow, it's even more blue now. I'm at the moment on the lake and it's so pretty. I'm here in my little orange boat. And everyone is flying drones above me. It's just so pretty and there is a thousand birds circling around me. I don't know if you can see. It. It's just unbelievable how pretty this is. This water is so clear. The boat is just perfect. Everything is so perfect about this place. So this is how it looks from here. This is how it looks from above. Ha <laughs> ha!
a little bit growing on the lake, sunrise. What do you want more in life? I do have to say, I feel like our life is quite all right. I'm not complaining too much. So that was another successful morning at the lake. It was really, 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 really fun. And now I think it's time to go home. The trip is over. We have the ferry back in uh, an hour and a half, I think. <laughs> and that's it. I would recommend to everyone to come here. It's so, so, so worth it. The travel is long, but they welcome you here with open arms. It's so nice. So this was it for the Bangai trip. I had so much fun exploring this place with my friends. We had the best, best time ever. And I can only recommend you to come to these places that are undiscovered because you have every single space for your own, which is just amazing. And look how pretty it is. Still cannot get over it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my vlog. I hope to see you in the next one again. Don't forget to put the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And thank you so much. See you.